Hello, John Prine. Uh, my name is Casey Green, and um, I want to try this song for you, and um, I actually did. I've never written a song before in my life, um, so uh, I actually used a lot of your lyrics from different songs that I love of yours, and it's meant to be a um, nod to you, not a, you know, stealing of your material. Um, but anyway, the song ended up being about you and my dad, and I just wanted to tell you a little bit about that. Um, my dad got his first job at a junkyard when he was 13 years old, and he never really kind of lost that junkyard mentality. And uh, so uh, as he grew up, he was a heavy machine operator, and he worked on the Mississippi. He worked, he built roads in Iowa and in uh, Wisconsin where we live now and uh, his last job was on a boat. He was a tugboat pilot for a coal company on the Mississippi River and uh, anyway uh, growing up we listened to a lot of John Prine and he's got three daughters and we all play guitar and we all listen to and sing John Prine songs on the campfire and uh, my dad passed away about three years ago and uh, he never really lost that junkyard mentality like I said so there was a car in the driveway and various things that he collected. He never threw, he never saw anything as junk. And so uh, after he died, my mom was pretty particular about what we could touch and what we couldn't touch, but she wanted this blue car gone right away. And the funny thing about that is when my dad was alive, the neighbors would go up and down the road and say, Roy, when you get rid of that blue car there, it's all rusty and it's an eyesore. And my dad was the kind of guy that kind of would dig his heels in and thumb his nose at people that put on airs and he decided he was not going to move that car as long as people said that it didn't look good uh, and so anyway we went to uh, open up the trunk of the car my sister Alex and I uh, we went to clean out the car it was just a few like a few weeks after he had passed away and when we opened up the trunk uh, my dad used to play guitar and uh, he, he always printed out lyrics, you know, of Hoyt Axton, Chris Christopherson, uh, Porter Wagner, you, uh, and uh, anyway, Guy Clark. And we opened up the trunk, and my sister and I just looked at each other, and our jaws dropped because right there on the top of all these other treasures of, you know, uh, pieces of steel that he had gotten off of a barge that they were going to throw away, and he was going to make it into something, and all this other, you know, rope and stuff like that was the lyrics to Don't Bury Me. And there wasn't just one copy of the lyrics to Don't Bury Me. There was like seven copies. And then there was, you know, some Johnny Cash and some other stuff, Hank Williams, Ernest Tubb underneath that. But there was like seven copies of Don't Bury Me. And I just had this feeling like my dad was looking over us and he was saying, I can see what you're doing to my car. And you just can kiss my ass for doing it. It was just crazy. But um, it actually helped us uh, start the healing process of, like, moving on and figuring out what to do with this big hole in our life now. Um, and your your music has been a really big part of us um, celebrating my celebrating life and stories and stuff like that and moving on. And um, I just wanted to say thank you. And I was going to write a a song which I've never written a song before in my life and I don't play guitar that well and I actually don't like to be on videos at all so I get all uh, nervous in front of a video I'm not part of the selfie generation I kind of missed the boat on that so anyway um, I, I just wanted to say thank you and then it kind of wove into my dad's story a little bit of my dad's story and a little bit of your story and so I hope you like the song, and I hope you um, don't mind me using your lyrics. I, I put in some of my favorites, some lyrics that painted pictures in my mind from some of my favorite songs of yours. And uh, remember, I, I don't usually do this, so please be forgiving. And uh, remember, it's the thought that counts. And the thought was for me to say thank you for sharing your, your perspective and your gifts uh, in your stories with the world because uh, it they, they've made a huge difference in our life. Okay, thank you, John.